welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica of the blog Miss More Style. Here on YouTube, I make videos about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. So if any of those topics sound like something that interests you, then you might want to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and ding the notification bell while you're there. That will just send you a notification every time I upload a new video. Today is the day after Thanksgiving as I'm filming this. I hope all of you who celebrate Thanksgiving had a great day. My husband and I just kind of chilled at home and made a full-on Thanksgiving dinner for two people. <laughs> we have a lot of leftovers, but we had a great day, so hopefully you guys enjoyed your holiday as well, those of you who celebrated. Today, though, I have a pretty exciting video. We're doing another hair tutorial slash uh, review slash uh, trial of a really interesting new hair styling product that I was sent from Avon. I recently did a sponsored collaboration over on my Instagram for Avon. And while I was at their new Studio 1886 in downtown Los Angeles, I spotted one of these hair tools and commented on it. And the lovely ladies there kindly sent me over one to try. So this video is not sponsored at all. Thank you so much to Avon for uh, sending these products over to me to review. Let me show you what they are first. This is the crazy product that I spotted at 1886 that I was interested in trying they sent over to me I don't know if you guys have seen any tools like this but I've been seeing similar hair styling tools to this on Amazon and various places and I've been really intrigued because it looks nuts like it's supposed to basically take your hair inside the thing and twirl it around I don't even know this is the chi lava one inch volcanic lava ceramic pro spin and curl I'm just gonna read the box Volcanic lava offers an extremely durable barrel. Oh, this is made from volcanic lava. That's pretty crazy right off the bat. Produces ions, infusing hair with shine. It gives glamorous bouncy curls or waves within seconds. It's a customizable temperature for all hair textures and it has a tangle protection alert, whatever that means. This comes with a limited two year warranty. It's patented to technology and it, you can use it internationally. It has dual voltage. So I know sometimes that's definitely an important factor for hair styling tools. It is for me because I learned the hard way with a hair dryer in South Africa that um, not all heat styling tools are created the same. Also sent over this lovely Chi Tech one inch ceramic dial hair styling iron. So this is one of the Chi flat irons. And to be honest with you, I have probably five flat irons. I'm not even joking. So I do not need another flat iron. So what I wanna do in this video is give this away. So if you're interested in learning how you can win this awesome Chi hair straightener, then keep watching this video because I'm gonna insert the rules somewhere later. And also, again, make sure that you subscribe because I'm going to be trying to do some fun giveaways throughout the month of December to you guys. Just as a thank you for all your amazing support this last year. Keep watching. I'll tell you in a bit how you can win this baby. Okay, so the Chi Lava 1-inch Volcanic Ceramic Pro Spinning Curl thingy. Let's open her up, shall we? We've got, obviously, the literature that most hairstyling tools come with. So we've got your manual, warranty card, your how to, of the lovely tool itself, all nice and bubble wrapped. You know what this reminds me of? It looks kind of like a tulip, right? This is pretty nuts. So you can see inside, it's got the curling barrel. It appears that this side has like a little thing that says that this side is supposed to go towards your head. So I'm guessing you're always supposed to keep this away from you. Just turn her on and try this out. Hold the Chi Lava Pro spinning curl vertically with the backside facing the head. Take up to one section of hair and lay the section into the opening of the curl chamber. If larger sections are used and the hair gets tangled, the tangle alert will beep. Oh, that's what the tangle alert is. Ooh. Press and continuously hold the arrow button in the desired direction to curl the hair. The hair strand will automatically will be automatically curled into the chamber and it will stop rotating. You will hear four beeps once the curl is set. Then you slide the tool in a downward motion to release the hair. So they say to use smaller sections of hair for defined curls. Uh, use larger section of hair for less defined curls. And then if your hair becomes tangled, the Chi Lava Pro Spin and Curl will beep continuously and the display will read reset. Push the power button on the Chi Lava Pro Spin and Curl to turn off and gently remove the tangled hair by pulling out thin strands section by section until all the hair has been removed. Okay, let's try it out. There goes nothing. And it is on. This is the temperature gauge. Usually I like mine to be pretty hot. So I'm going to set it up to about 400 degrees, how high it can go. So it goes up to 410. That's just a really nice, clear temperature gauge there. And it shows you that it's heating up. It's going quite fast. So it's already at 300. So that's not going to take any time at all. As always, when I curl my hair, I always get, have a clip handy and I section my hair off so that I'm working with the bottom section first 
And then as I work my hair, I let down more layers and this enables me to really get all of my hair properly uh, curled. I have a lot of hair, like very thick hair. So this is really the only way that I found to do it. It has two arrow buttons right here. And so essentially what I'm guessing you're supposed to do is you take a small section of hair and then you push the arrow button that you want. Okay. Um, do I wait for it to beep or something? Or do I hold it down? Ooh, now that's a ringlet. That was really interesting. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna do a little bit bigger chunk of hair because Oh, now it's beeping. I guess I should have left it in there. Instructions say that if you do a bigger strand of hair, then you will have a less defined curl. So my hair feels kind of dangly in there, but it's still doing its, oh. So I guess I hold it, wait for it to beep. <laughs> Is something still happening? I don't really know. Whoa, that is a ringlet. See, it ends up beeping later. Let's try again. With these hair tools, I feel like it's definitely a learning curve. And sometimes I wonder if like the gimmickiness of it is really worth like how difficult it is to figure out how to use them because I feel like I could honestly do my hair pretty well with just a standard curling iron, but I didn't wait for it to beep that time, but honestly, I don't, oh, I guess I could have waited. Because it definitely makes them very ringlety, it's not really, it's a little better. Well, as I've said in other hair styling device videos, sometimes you gotta like try it out for a little bit and figure it out first. I feel like you have to like kind of put your hair right into there. I feel like that's what you're supposed to do. I wonder if I just did it once in there and I just held it. Hmm. Or if I'm supposed to keep pushing it. No, I think I'm supposed to keep pushing it. Let's try this again. It says to continuously hold the arrow of the direction you want it to go. And it should stop on its own. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna let it sit there till it beeps. All right, that, that had a bit better of a result, didn't it? Now I feel like I'm starting to understand what this is about. <laughs> okay, this is going much better. I'm, I'm learning how to work this thing. Now we wait, now we wait. Okay, okay, this is looking a lot better than this. There's hope for this thing. Maybe I'll like it after all. I will say this does kind of take a lot of the user error out of curling your hair. So if you find that you're not very good at curling your hair, if you feel like you just don't do it right and you don't get these type of curls for whatever reason, this basically does all the work for you. It's pretty foolproof. All right, I'm gonna let down some more hair and keep going. Let's try this again with a bigger section of hair. And that's the tangle alert, I believe. Yeah, so it says reset. So now I need to, I guess, push the power button again. There we go. So I just 
long pressed on the power button and it has reset it back to 400 degrees setting. So that's handy to know what it does when you trigger the, the tangle alert. Trying to use bigger sections, I feel like they are more prone to getting tangled, but... Ah, <laughs> kind of stuck up my hair a little bit there. This one didn't really turn out well because it, like I said, like when I made that face, I could feel it kind of pulling in a way that I knew it wasn't supposed to be doing. It's the whole deal that I'm having because I want it to do bigger sections. You have to be really careful to make sure that you're not getting it tangled. I will say though, these curls do look very nice and shiny. I feel like that aspect it is living up to. For whatever reason, I'm better at it on the right side of my head than on my left side. I don't know why. The other thing too is because it is a one inch barrel in there, one inch barrels tend to make you have more of those defined curls. And typically when I curl my hair, I use a thicker barrel to give me more of that look. So that also take that into account. But it is starting to look really pretty. Like I am liking what it is doing. I just need to figure out how to get this side to like be a little bit more relaxed looking. I'm always hitting this arrow, the what, whichever one is like towards the back of my head, just because I like my hair to be curled in that direction. Um, I don't really like to curl my hair towards my face because I feel like when you do it away, that kind of just, I don't know, I feel like it looks better in my opinion. Ah, that's a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and do more of my hair off camera and I'll check back in with you all once I'm more towards the top section of my hair to show you how it's going and we will conclude the video. See you in about 20 minutes. All right, now I'm back and we are moving on to the very last section of my hair that I have let down, I decided to go with a side part today. I have to say I've gotten a bit better at using this since I last was on. It was a bit of a learning curve, but now that I've sort of done it a couple times, I feel like I've learned a couple of things. Like you really wanna make sure that before you put the hair into the tool that you want it to be nice and sort of brushed out and sort of evenly placed. You don't want sort of any irregularities because that will cause it to get like kind of tangled and a little bit messed up. And I think that also allows for it to give it more of like a uniform curl rather than it coming out kind of funky as some of them have done. Ooh, see, I'm getting really good at this. Boom. Now might be a good time to talk to you guys about how you can win the hair straightener, which I promised to give the instructions for at some point in this video. So basically what I would like you to do is make sure that you're subscribed to this channel, number one. Number two, go to my Instagram and follow me there and make sure to comment on one of my most recent photos. It could be any of my most recent photos that you like, but just make sure that you comment on one of those that you are coming over to say hi from YouTube and include in that comment this emoji that I'm gonna show you right here on the screen. Also, make sure to comment on this video, any comment you would like, but also make sure to include that emoji. That is it. I can only do this in the US because I can't really ship things internationally. So I'm sorry, but unfortunately it is for US uh, people only. That's it, so as an overview, follow me here subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment down below with this emoji in your comment, then go over to my Instagram, Miss More Style, leave me a comment on one of my most recent photos, um, could be any of my most recent photos that you would like, um, but somewhere in that comment it needs to have this emoji, and be aware that this is for US only, and I will run this giveaway for two weeks, and in two weeks I will announce the winner over on my Instagram stories and tag the account who won. So make sure to enter if you want to win this awesome flat iron from Chi. The giveaway is going to run for two weeks. So that is going to be my first little giveaway of the month of December. Have I finished my hair yet? It's all curled. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. It is very, very curly. So I'm just gonna take my fingers and sort of run my fingers through the curls a little bit just to sort of loosen them up a little bit because as you guys have heard me say numerous times in this video, I like to have a more loose curl going on and you can sort of easily loosen up your curls a bit with your fingers. Um, and I'm liking the way that it's looking now. It's like quite a bit more relaxed and very, very pretty. I feel like these this gives you a very good uniform curl, um, especially like I said before, if you don't feel very confident with curling your hair with a curling iron, if you feel like you're not good at it, this basically does everything for you. You just basically have to get used to using it. Um, but it took me for one styling session. I think I got it pretty figured out. It's it's pretty effective, I like the way that it looks. I was pretty skeptical about this, but I think I'm pretty much into it. If you all want to check this out, I've got the link for it in the description box. Loving these beautiful bouncy curls. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this hair styling tool if you've ever tried one like this. Also, let me know if there's some sort of crazy heat styling tool out there that you want me to try next. I'm always down to try new wacky things. And if you want to check out some of my other videos of hair styling tool reviews, then go down in the description box because I have quite a bit of them and I have them linked down there for you all so you can check out more interesting ways to heat style your hair as well as some tutorials in which I kind of walk you through exactly how I would normally curl my hair, my sort of like tried and true way to get beachy wavy hair. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and make sure that if you didn't already that you subscribe. Don't forget about entering the giveaway and I will see you all on my next video. Bye!